Hello everybody. I've been thinking of some time for some time now of trying to add this angle grinder to my CNC machine to try and make the whole thing into a surface grinder or some sort of tool that will cut steel with this angle grinder disc or even plain surfaces like a conventional surface grinder. So all I would need to do would be to mount this somehow on the x-axis. So I need to design some sort of bracketing to fit that this and be able to bolt it onto the z-axis. So what I've thought of is casting a bracket for the bottom end where most of the strain will be and then having a, a just a simple wooden bracket at the top that won't damage the plastic to hold it onto the z-axis. Then with cutting discs such as this one I can cut things or with this disc I can surface grind I'll need to modify the bore on that one to make it fit, but I can surface grind with that one. And then I've got several other kinds of discs which I can try out to see what I can do with them, either cutting, surfacing, or whatever. So there'll be some experimentation done to find out what I can do with these discs. I have to say that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm a little bit sorry that uh, I might have misle misled a few people with the title of this vi particular video uh, but I've decided <laughs> if I can't beat them join them there's been quite a few videos I've gone to which have uh, led me astray somewhat with uh, opening titles and graphics so I thought if I can't beat them I might as well join them so hopefully it's drawn a few people into uh, the sphere of engineering and maybe it might get them interested because engineering for me is nearly as good as sex so uh, maybe some other people might get interested in it anyway that's the idea sorry if I offended anybody but uh, I might as well try it on the face of it it may look as though it's going to be very awkward to mount this on the machine but there are two very nice M8 tapped holes here which originally are for the handle which can be used to fit in there or there for left-handed and right-handed people and also I can use these two holes here which used to have the original screws which are these things the original screws in for holding the top and I can use two longer screws to attach to help attach the bracket that I'm going to make I'm going to cast this bracket in aluminium so that will be an interesting process on its own so stand by for that, for that. at the other end I'll also be making a wooden bracket to help minimise vibrations when the thing is in action. So here we go with the design of these two brackets. This is the design for the bottom mount. The outer profile is the size of the actual casting and the inner profile is the finished size. This is a 3D model of it generated by Vectric B Car Pro. This is the top mount which will be made in plywood and the two parts here will be milled at one time. To get the required thickness I simply glued together several sheets of 5mm plywood.
Right, I might as well show you how I cut these out. Hacksaw blade in a, in a special holder. Yeah, I'll dress up all right. And there's the casting straight out of the mould. And stand by now for the machining process. Now I'm going to use a different method skimming this side. Uh, this is a hand corded routine that I've devised and it's just going to mill a, a rectangular spiral and I'm going to take about two millimeters off and then measure it and see where I am. Well, I think I like this one better than that one. Yep. Right, I think we've got this uh, pretty well clamped down flat. We've got here a, a 0 0.1 millimeter feeler gauge, or for you American guys, four thou. And it's pretty well flat onto the base. So I think we're good to go. So I'm going to take two millimeters off the surface and then see how I go from there.
No need to drill holes through there. And there. These grooves here, which are formed by the drill holes before I milled it, are the an accurate placement for these holes across here. Rather than mark them off, I decided to put a drill mark in there and there. and sturdy it's switched on with that switch there but I can start and stop it with the keyboard by pressing F5 and F5 again to stop so I'm going to try putting some of that uh, at first see if that's an epoxy granite sample I want to see how well it does with this, I want to start with this um, very thin disc. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it looks like a, a diamond impregnated disc. So that's going to be the first try of the system. So keep watching, guys and gals. <laughs> 